Kevin Kelly has a great line about humans and our symbiotic relationship with technology. He says, we are the creators and we are the created. And of course, this echoes this notion of ontological design in that everything that we design is designing us back. And we have been in a cybernetic feedback loop with our technologies since the beginning of early hominids playing with stone tools and inscribing their interior world onto clay tablets with little glyphs of meaning. The minute that we started to extend our mindware out into the world, we've been turning the mind inside out. Technology is our second skin, our exoskeleton. Literally, we are exteriorizing our nervous system, our mindware, as McKenna likes to say. And we've been doing it forever. This is the most natural thing in the world. It is what it means to be human, right? Kevin Kelly's beautiful example is the moment we discovered fire and thus cooking, we all of a sudden created an external stomach that could pre-digest our food so that we could absorb that many more nutrients from every meal and not waste all this time eating raw food all day long just to basically stay nourished. Instead, we're freeing up cognitive real estate, freeing the mind for other endeavors. So essentially, externalizing our stomach through fire turned this technology into a, a part of us beyond our skin tissue in whose feedback loop and engagement with said technology opened up a new space for a Cambrian explosion of mind. Fire and cooking essentially made us human. But again, the larger metaphor here, the larger message here, is that our symbiotic relationships with these tools actually is who we are. Our mind is distributed between brains, tools, technologies, and environments. This is who we are. We are, as Andy Clark says, the natural born cyborg. We are the creators, but we are the created. What we create is creating us back. The feedback loop is a symbol of life, not the DNA molecule. The feedback loop, the loop, that's us.